I will show you now how you can install your new optimized damping cartridge. What you need to have is a 13 mm socket, wrench socket and a circlip pliers. And you need a broom and you make your workshop clean in the beginning. But everything is clean. So the first thing we need to do is you have our lower leg with the uh, old damping inside. And we take this 30 mm socket wrench and open the compression unit just like this. There is a bit of oil, just uh, let it in the lower tube. Then we have our empty glass and we put all the old oil in this. And I, I'm always making some circles like this to make sure that all the oil comes out. And when it's almost empty, we're done. Please take the circuit pliers and remove. You can press the seal head down a bit, just like this. It's easier to uh, remove the circlip. And then we pull the old unit outside. Now you need the broom <laughs> and you put it inside here. There is a, a plastic tube inside. Yeah, now the tube is clean and empty and we can install the new one. This is uh, the new one. Remove the compression unit and we have the rebound unit here. Make sure that this is together and we now open the rebound circuit. We hold it with the pliers and now from your point of view you turn it this way. This for rebound is open. When it's completely open you can use this oil here and make this a little, little bit oily. You can turn it inside here just like this and push it down all the way down and please insert the C-clip. Press it down to make sure that it's in its seat. So now we take it upside down. The piston rod should be extended completely and you can reuse the old oil. If it's done, if it's very old, you can also use the fresh one. But in this time, it's a brand new fork. We fill it in. And now you see the air bubbles coming out. And please now push the lower rod just, just a bit, just like this, one or two centimeters. And you can see while I'm doing, I'm pushing and pulling, you can see the air bubbles come out. And please bleed it as long as there are no additional air bubbles. It can take some while, but now it looks good. There is nothing. Then the next step is to extend the shock rod completely. And now we need to fill up some oil. Just like this. It's around five millimeter. This is around the optimum. Then you take the new compression unit and put it in. I'm always shaking it a bit to make sure that air bubbles in the piston are coming out. And then you take the 13 millimeter wrench socket and press it in while you're turning it. You can tighten it. So that's it. The next step is to close the rebound again. So it's fully closed now and we should have we should have a rebound force immediately. You can check the compression, close and uh, open it. So that's it.